Well, hello, and welcome back. I'm so glad you came to listen to a story today. I was just getting ready to start reading. Do you have a favorite blanket or pillow or toy that you need to run and get so that you can be more comfortable? If so, I'll wait here. Wonderful. Now, are you sitting somewhere or lying down or just cozy so that you can listen to a story? Great. Well then, why don't we go ahead and get started? This story is called Thumbelina. A long time ago and far, far away, An old woman was sitting in her rocking chair, thinking how happy she would be if she just had a child. Then she heard a knock at the door and opened it. A lady was standing there and she said, If you let me in, I will grant you a wish. The old woman let the woman in, firstly, because she felt pity. Secondly, because she knew what she would wish for, a child. After she washed the lady up and fed her, she saw that she was a really beautiful woman. The lady slept soundly all night, and then right before she left, she said, Now, about your wish, what? Do you want? The lady thought about most people's wishes to be the richest in the world, or the most powerful person, or the smartest, sometimes the prettiest. But the old woman wished for something the lady could not believe. She said, I would like a child. What did you say? She asked, because she was astonished at what the old lady had asked for. The old lady repeated what she had said. I would like a child. Then the lady placed a tiny seed in the old woman's hand and gave her instructions. Plant this seed, water it carefully, watch over it, and give it your love. If you do all of these things, then you will have a child. So the old woman did all of those things that the lady had told her to do. In a week, there was a beautiful yellow flower in place of the seed. The next day, the flower bloomed. Inside the flower was a beautiful little girl who was the size of the woman's thumb so she called her Thumbelina. She made her little dress out of golden threads. Thumbelina slept in a walnut shell and brought the old woman joy and happiness. But one day, when Thumbelina went down for a nap, a frog hopped through the open window and said, You'll be a perfect bride for my son. And she took Thumbelina to a lily pad and hopped off to find her son. Thumbelina cried and some little guppies heard her and chewed the roots off the lily pad to help her escape. Thumbelina's lily pad floated away. A few hours later she finally stopped floating. During the summer she ate berries and drank the dew off of the leaves. But then Winter came, and she needed shelter. A kindly mouse let her stay with it, but it said, You'll have to marry my friend Mole, because I cannot keep you for another winter. The next day, she went to see Mole. In one of the tunnels, she found a sick bird and said, Poor thing, I will bury it. Then she found out that it was still alive, and she cared for it until it was ready to fly. 
it flew off. That fall, she nearly had to marry Mole. But then she heard a familiar tweet, and an idea popped up in the bird's head. You can come down to the warm country, said the bird. So Thumbelina hopped onto the bird's back and flew to the warm country. The people there, who were like her, renamed her Erin. She married a prince, and she lived happily ever after. The End